What is up to all my amazing viewers out there? Um, I apologize for not uploading yesterday. Um, I really could not think of an idea to make a video about, so I kind of just figured that my double upload that I did two nights ago would make up for my lack of posting last night. But anyways, I have a few things I want to talk to you guys about in this video. Um, and I know you guys probably didn't even know this because I didn't give any update or anything like that. But about two or three weeks ago, I was in Louisville, and I stayed there for about two or three weeks. And um, in this video, I'm just going to talk about some of the things that I did in Louisville. And uh, yeah, before I get into that, I just wanted to wish all you guys a happy 4th of July. Um, I hope all you guys are careful with the fireworks. In my town, there was recently a guy who got hurt in a firework explosion. So just make sure you handle them with care and uh, be safe with them. But yeah, um, see, I live in a small town about four or five hours away from Louisville. So it was a pretty fun drive. Um, it, like I said, it took us about four or five hours to get there. <clears throat> um, when I did get there, I didn't even know how to, like, I didn't know, I don't know how to say this. I didn't know how to comprehend how big it was at first because I've come from a small city with, like, two or three fast food places at the very most and like two grocery stores in the whole county I mean there's a lot of gas stations but like that's not saying a whole lot um, see we stayed in an apartment complex type thing and it was like amazing there it was really nice it was always cool like not hot not too cold um, there was fast food chains everywhere there was buffets everywhere there was arcades everywhere and it was just one of the best places I've ever went to in my life. Um, so I'm going to set this camera down because my arms are tired and I don't want to be moving around a lot. Um, I'm sorry if I look bad from this angle. But um, I figured, I didn't figure I'd be talking for that much at first. That's why I was holding it like that. But I wanted to set it down because if I don't, my arms are moving a lot. But anyways, like I said, I'm sorry if it's a bad angle or anything. But um, there's a lot of like here it's not very racially diverse like there are a few different races here like a couple people of different color but and I mean I'm not I don't really like being so unethically diverse because I like having a bunch of different races and a bunch of different cultures and stuff to mix it up because then everyone can appreciate each other's cultures and get to learn about each other and learn about their foods and their styles and traditions and all that and Louisville was the exact opposite. Like, there was people of every different race, every different ethnic, ethnic ethnicity. Is that how you say it? Um, like, I'm not gonna go and name every single one of them because I don't want to say something wrong and sound racist or insensitive or whatever. But you guys get the picture. Those people from all across the world. Um, <clears throat> one of my favorite things. The heck, this box is like blue. It's usually white, but it's like blue. Well, I'm turn my color off so it's not. Um one of my favorite things about where we were staying at in Louisville is about five or ten minutes where we were, where we were at there's this place called China Buffet which is one of the best places to get food from it's a Chinese buffet and they have amazing food there like I would eat there for the rest of my life if I could and um it was simply amazing and they had Gaddy's there and it was amazing um, I didn't really get to stay as long as I would wanted to because my mom wanted me to come home, but my time there, I loved. Um, if you guys have any questions about what it was like there or what I was doing, just let me know. Um, I was going to record a couple of videos in Louisville, but I couldn't get time to myself, and um, I was almost always busy doing something, whether that be cleaning or uh, trying to rest or riding out, going to Walmart, doing this, doing that, and uh, the only times I really have free time is when it was time to go to bed, and I didn't want to have to step outside on the porch and record videos during the time that everyone's supposed to go to bed, because my aunt and uncle could have gotten in trouble for that, because they ain't supposed to be loud past a certain time. Um, yeah, um, I'm trying to think of anything else I was wanting to talk about. Oh yeah, um, I have a little bit of a challenge to you guys. So... I'm at 49 subscribers right now. I've been at 49 subscribers for like three or four days, okay? I've had this channel for almost six or seven years, and I'm just now about to hit 50. Now, 
if you guys can share my channel with your friends or family or anyone and get me to 50 subscribers, I will do a Q&A video and I will answer every single comment I get. Pardon the fact, pardon the racist ones or <clears throat> like too explicit ones. Now I'll answer some questions that are pushing lines just a little bit, but I won't answer questions that are racist or anything like that. But if you guys can get me to 50, I'll answer almost any question you can ask me in the comments. And I'll give your name, I'll give you a shout out, I'll link you below in my description, I'll link a cha your channel or a video or something in, in the description of the video. And I will give you all a personalized shout out in a different video to everyone that gives me a comment. Like I will make a separate video just to shout out the people that I answered in the Q&A. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in or something that you guys would even want to do, but I would do that. And um, let me think for a second, because I know I had more I was going to discuss. Oh yeah, um, me and my friend Darkness that I keep telling you guys about one of the Gmod skits with, me and him are going to do a uh, another comedy skit soon. Um, a direction I'd like to take with my channel, which I, I kind of can't because I haven't got the software to do it. Is I've been wanting to do a podcast and talk about like things that are drama, drama related and basically t talk about any of the currently trending topics but I don't have a computer and I can't record conversations or it'll come out with quality of a cell phone microphone and I don't want to do that but if I ever do somehow get another laptop or a desktop computer Trust me, I'm definitely going to do some kind of podcast. And I could do podcasts with some of my friends for their channel, but they're not going to want to do podcasts about the thing that I want to. And <clears throat> I want to have content for my own channel. Which I'm not saying I wouldn't do it for their channel, because I've done videos for friends before. But I just want to have content for myself. I mean, I'm not trying to sound selfish or anything, but I want to make my channel successful, which is... I mean, I'm not trying to sound mean, but, like, I want to help my friends and myself also. Like, I'm not trying to be selfish, but I'm also trying to help myself a little bit. Um, I think. Um, and if you share my videos or my channel with your friends, just let me know. I'll give you guys a shout out. I'll link you in the description of the video. Um, I'll, if you shout me out, I'll shout you guys out. Um, if you guys want to, I I will do a like a I think it's called like a share for share or a subscribe for subscribe or whatever. I would be interested in doing that. Just uh, let comment in the the comment section below and let me know. Um, I just bought Friday the Thirteenth recently. If anyone wants to play with me, um, or if anyone wants to add me on Xbox, I'll drop my gamer tag in the description below. Uh, it's for Xbox One. Um, I'd love to have new people to play with, especially my viewers, which I don't know if any of my viewers would be interested in that, or if I already have most of my viewers with Xbox in the, on my Xbox account, but I would really love to play with you guys. But, uh, I think that's about it, actually. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing 4th of July, and yeah, see you guys later.